me and Coop decided we were going to try to predict and rank the current Big 12 in its state today. Let's talk about it before these games. Coming up in about 10 seconds. What is good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, talking OU football, college football, Big 12 football, and sports in general. In this video, we're going to dive into the Big 12, the rankings and predictions, and who we think is going to win out of this conference. Hop in the comments. Let us know who you think is going to prevail. Unfortunately, the Sooners will not make it to the Big 12 championship this year. This will be the second straight year they're out, but it's cool. They'll we'll bounce back like we always do. So while you're here, jump in the comments. Let us know who you think is going to end up winning out. And do we have a chance to see TCU in the college football playoff? Also, while you're here, you know the drill. Hit the like button as well as subscribe. Show some love that helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And share. Why? Because sharing is caring. And we love to bring more of you in so we can continue to make fire content and the content you all want to see. So without further ado, me and Coop's going to dive right in, shall we? So right now, the Big 12, in a way, still cannibalizing itself. But right there in the dead smack in the middle are five teams that, well, yeah, five teams that could potentially face TCU. And right now, it looks like it's going to be TCU in the Big 12. 12 championship game. Coop, you were talking about this. Let's go ahead and rank the Big 12 and uh, give our predictions on what it's going to look like at the end. How do you feel about the Big 12 right now? Um, right now. I mean, so this is as of today. We have not hit the 12th. We have not uh, done these games. So uh, TCU is the clear cut, number one. Um, TCU is starting to play with fire. And um, I think that they've got themselves – uh, an interesting matchup this week. Um, TCU is really good at late game heroics and the team that they are facing is not very good at holding on to late game leads in the Texas Longhorns. So I have them at number one, K state. Mm-hmm. I have as the number, number two team. Um, I still think that uh, like Jalen hurts in the NFL, uh, K-State has tailored this entire offensive plan around Adrian Martinez. Um, this is just such a weird thing because obviously Will Howard uh, balled out when he was in there, and there's a little bit of a uh, of a split room on who should be playing because that offense looked opened up when Will Howard was in there. Um, but I still st- I still think that you know. Uh, losing your your um, position to injury, so it's a tough deal. So, but I, but here's the thing: I wish that we had a second quarterback <laughs> that would be that would right. we'd have some com- controversy in play, and maybe we'll have that next year. So, uh, number three, leaves I us have, in a, I say leaves us in a place to uh, leaves us more to desire. We would yeah. really love to just have a backup quarterback that we know we can play, like at least go on the field right yeah, now. Yeah, a hundred percent. Number three is Texas. Um, Texas is much better than I thought they were going to be. Uh, their defense is starting to play a little bit better. Uh, they've got offensive weapons. Um, so I'll leave it there because, uh, I, am trying to be bipartisan here on this, uh, <laughs> Baylor. Uh, I, I mean, right now I've got Baylor as the, uh, the fourth best team and this is tough. Uh, I think it's, uh, the team following them is Kansas. And I think the reason why I think Baylor's right in front of them as of right now is because Baylor actually um, has both, uh, you know, some weapons on the outside running game uh, with several different running backs. And then they actually have, you know, the head coaching portion Uh, Kansas, their defense is just God awful. Uh, And again, if there's, there may be two defenses worse than OU's in this league. um, They're one of them. Uh, So I have Kansas at number five, Oklahoma state, uh, how it sits right now at number six, uh, OU at number seven, Texas Tech, Iowa State, and then West Virginia. Oh man! Today, so you so you kind of you're close to the uh, you're close to chalk here, which kind of appreciate. All right, so if I go for my rankings, I'm, I'm, I'm close to what you are, but I've got some switches at number one. I definitely have TCU. They're undefeated. There's no reason to even think that anybody's better than them right now. 
I do expect them to lose a Big 12 game. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. They do have a uh, they have a decent schedule coming up. Like, of course, mm-hmm. Texas this weekend as a 6.30 game on ABC. I will be watching that game because that's going to be a bigger one. Correction, I won't be. I think I'll be at the movies at that time. Wakanda forever. Um, so if that's the case, I think that they if they don't lose to Texas, they lose to Baylor. One of those two is yeah. going to take them down and get knock off one of knock off their undefeated season and potentially knock them completely out of the um the uh yeah. college football playoffs, which is unfortunate, but at the same time I think that that's realistic. My number two team. I think it's Texas. And I only say that because it feels like they're starting to hit their stride. And they I feel like this is similar to was it the Sam Ellinger team where they hit gave his with the the we're Texas, we're back type deal. Um, I feel like that's what we have this season. I can see them finishing at like ten and three. Um, well, actually, I, they'll lose four games this season. They'll probably go like nine and four, um, maybe eight and five. I think they're going to go at least nine and four. And they're they're playing at a they're, they're playing better ball now than they were before. They've got a pretty tough schedule going mm-hmm. forward. They've got TCU this weekend. Then they got to travel to Kansas. Kansas has their number yes, they do. in Lawrence. And they're ready for him. Jalen Daniels will be playing in that game as expected. And if he's playing, he's probably going to eat them alive because mm-hmm. he's that good. And then Baylor is going to be tough because Dave Aranda is Dave Aranda. Like, yeah. I, Am I supposed to say that Dave Aranda ain't himself? Because Baylor has been, you know, basically cooking Texas for what the last few years. So there's no reason for me to think that Texas really has a chance. You know, they oh one, of course, Baylor beat them, and what's they lost to him in 2020. That's when Aranda first got there. 19, they they beat up on them. They beat them again in what's that? They lost to him in 18, and I think they beat them in 17. Now they lost. Yeah. They got blown out. But I think that was rules first year. Baylor's Baylor is moving forward with Aranda, and I feel like that's something to really think about when it comes to them going to it. So, TCU, Texas, my third team is Kansas State. Um, their schedule right now, and this is how I think this, this is all going to end. They've got Baylor, West Virginia, and Kansas. Kansas. They travel to Baylor. They should beat Baylor in Baylor. They're going to definitely win at West Virginia. I don't see West Virginia is going to pull an upset. And I think they beat Kansas. I think they, I think they finished the year. Huh? I think they lose to Kansas. I think they beat Kansas this year. I think that they go out there at home in Manhattan and pull it off. Kind of a fascinating game. I've thought about driving up there for that one just because, you know, it's a nice little rivalry and it's, yeah. you know, Thanksgiving weekend. Be an interesting one. But – I think Kansas ends up winning out all the way. Uh, right behind them is Baylor for me. I think the Bears will lose one game. That will be to Kansas State. I think they beat TCU and they beat Texas to wrap the season up. Um, which helps Texas only because Texas will probably have just one more loss too. And then Baylor will eventually move above them. So technically, I should probably swap that. But it's neither here nor there. Just need to have logic here. Um, followed by Kansas, then Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Because I think Oklahoma State's going to start falling. I think that they're they're at the end of their rope. I think that they're done for this year. Um, Tech, Iowa State, and then West Virginia. So at the end is definitely chalk. But I think Oklahoma moves above Oklahoma State especially after Bedlam, that should be a rather easy victory for the Sooners, especially since State doesn't know who's going to play their quarterback and their backup quarterback right now. Both of them, neither one of them are really that good. It's just more so not that they're they're bad. It's more so they're not, they're not ready for the job to take mm-hmm. over at Oklahoma State at quarterback, especially how mm-hmm. good the offense t- traditionally is and how complex the offense kind of is. So, yeah. 
Fascinating. So with that, all right, let me let's look at something real quick. Baylor has the roughest stretch coming up. Kansas State, TCU. Luckily, they're both at home. Then they travel to Texas. You think they can come out two and one or three and zero? Oh? Here, here, let me let me read you this. This is this is my thoughts. I think TCU uh, ends up number one. I think K State um, ends up number two. I think that they stay there. I think that they beat the Baylor and West Virginia. I think they lose to Kansas. That's that's my thoughts. Okay. Baylor. I think that they lose to K State. I think they lose to TCU, and I think they win at Texas. Um, I think that Texas loses out. I do. Here's why. I think that Texas has uh, has a game on their hands. Like I said, this matchup for them against TCU, they I believe they will get out to a lead, and um, and this is all pending Quentin Johnston. Uh, actually playing, um, but you've seen things where stars at the skill position disappear and overconfidence seeps in on the right. defense, and then what happens? Some dude you never heard of goes off. So, uh, but I think that TCU is good at coming back, and I think that they they are going to come back. They're going to win this game. I think that Texas is, is a, as a seven point favorite again this week. Um, that they they haven't been there. I mean that that hasn't been. I mean you count the OU game if you want, but they haven't been there. Um, I think that they go to Kansas trying to prove something, and they lose that game because they're trying to prove it. And then they come home and they have to face a test against Baylor, and Aranda will be getting. Ooh. I mean again, fourth fourth and what on your twenty eight yard line early in the game, dude's got the cojones to go for that. So anyway, I saw TCU, K State, Baylor, OU is the number four team at the end. I think we went out. Kansas, uh, I think Kansas loses uh, a, a perplexing game to Tech, and then I think they win, win. Uh, right. Then I have Texas at number six, um, and then it's the free fall. <laughs> I think that. Um, at four and five, you're going to end up with uh, with Oklahoma State losing to Iowa State and OU. I think they'll win against West Virginia. I think that ISU is going to uh, win at o- Oklahoma State this week. I think they win next week. And then I think they lose to TCU. Uh, and then I think West Virginia, God bless their heart. All right. I think they, I think they lose out. Okay. Okay. All right. So kind of jumped a little ahead there, but – Put you on the spot here. Let's go to these games. Baylor versus Kansas. Who wins? Um, let's see here. Baylor versus Kansas State. Kansas State. Um, I think Kansas State. That, Kansas State. Yeah. I think I think Kansas State wins. Okay. I. Yeah. 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 I. 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 I got. I got Baylor winning that one at home too. I mean, it's pretty um, beneficial to them being at the crib. That's going to help. All right. Oklahoma State, Iowa State. Who's winning that one? I think Iowa State wins this game. I just think Ooh. that uh, – You know I who the favorite that, is in this game? Is it now Iowa State by one and a half or something like that, right? Yeah. So, Yo, that's uh, wild to me. But that tells you here, everything you need to know. Here's what you got is you got Oklahoma State's got a choice of two quarterbacks. One is Gunnar Gundy, who does not have the arm talent, um, and but he can run around a little bit. Offensive line is banged up. They haven't had anything of a running game all year long, and their defense is due. So you've got that. Then you got Rangel, who's got a little bit more arm talent, but he yep. is like, uh, what, what was the uh, what was the cat who was uh, the backup to Sanders the past couple of years was a statue. Um, so uh, I mean, Iowa State they they can they can play defense, and if you can't run the ball or throw the ball. And the You're special done. teams for Oklahoma State, uh, they, they've lost their punter for the season. And, uh, yeah, so. So, yeah. So, for those that aren't degenerates like myself and, and <laughs> on occasion, Coop here, if you want to take my advice, Iowa State is a minus one. That is a trap. You take Iowa State because everybody's going to be at Oklahoma State. They're like, no, Iowa State sucks. Why in the heck would they? Oh, yeah, take Iowa State, especially at yeah. 48 and a half. It's probably mm-hmm. going to go under. 
I'm going to go ahead and take the Iowa State minus one also. All right, next game. Texas Tech versus Kansas. They're at the crib in Lubbock. Tech is a three and a half point favorite in this game. I think Tech wins. Um, Tech, Tech has these cycles where they play lights out and then they play like garbage and they play lights out and they play garbage. Just they forgot um, to play football. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, this is this team beat Texas. Um, so uh, I, I do believe that Texas. I, I think that uh, whether it is um, uh, uh, Jalen Daniels, if he comes back this game, he is going to be um, a little rusty. And See they're that? going. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'm taking Tech in this game. Don't forget, Tech was actually up on uh, TCU. Uh, yeah. what they have them, they were up what 17 to 13. They up, yeah, it was, yeah, it was up 10 to 7. Then they were up 17 to 13. And then TCU pulled away in the um, in the the end of the third quarter. So Kansas defense is garbage. <laughs> yeah, their defense is really bad, especially because Kobe Bryant's out too. Mm hmm. That 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 injury against us kind of hurt my feelings. I thought that so, I, I didn't like him getting hurt sorry, at the same time. Sorry, yeah, it's your fault. fault. It's it all your fault. Hundred percent your fault. <laughs> you're gonna take all the blame. Oh, uh, okay. From there, next game, the last one. Of course, you got to do Texas TCU. I, I mean, I'm calling TCU on this one, bro. I already I already laid it out why um, Vegas. Has us set as Texas minus seven, just seven. like Oklahoma. <clears throat> yeah. Um, how do you feel if you're Gary Patterson in this one, bro? Yeah, Dude, you're going to get your all, all your boys. All like you, your guys. You, you get fired for being an idiot, and then your team goes undefeated without you. Oh. How do you feel that way? This feels like, and this is kind of why I think that Texas can potentially pull the upset i don't see it but i think they potentially can because this is a gary patterson revenge game this is the game for him he's gotta go out there and make a statement and prove a point say y'all shouldn't have let me go i was the most important thing for y'all mm. and right now it's split as far as traffic goes half of the money is on texas and then majority of the tickets is on TCU and the line is trekked from six and a half to seven to seven and a half. So, and all the experts at about 70% clip saying take TCU to cover the spread. I think TCU covers the spread. I don't know if, I don't know if the money line makes sense in this game. It, mm -hmm. it makes me wonder if TCU can go down there and exert their dominance and beat Texas. I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. I, I, I don't believe that TCU will go undefeated. I still think Baylor's the one that's going to upset them, but I would not be surprised if Texas does. But if I got to make a pick, you pick. You're picking TCU. I might have to pick Texas to win this game. I, I just think that Kendra Miller and Max Duggan make it really, really tough. Um, those guys are ballers. And they might right. go in there with an with the, with the goal, especially if Quentin Johnson's not going to play. Of uh, you know what, ball control, keep it away from them. And uh, again, they still have some some guys on that defensive line that that are that that, that are going to make it tough on those young Texas offensive linemen. No, 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 no. You are one hundred percent right when it comes to that. So let's see if TCU can pull it off. <laughs> Like I said, I don't know on that one. That's one that's actually tough for me. And uh, good. With stuff. that, we appreciate y'all tuning in to Unfair Sports. Coop, thanks again for pulling up as you always do. Most definitely. You can find the man right here, his Twitter account right there in the scroll at the bottom. You can see mine as well. Please, while you're here, hit the like and the subscribe button as well as share because sharing is caring. Jump in the comments and let us know what you think about the video. Give us your thoughts. Are you happy, sad? Do you like a recruit? Not like the recruit? Do you like the review? Not like the review? Whatever. Jump in the comments, interact with us. We will definitely reply back to you all. So with that, we will chop it up with you all. I don't know, in about a day or two. All right. Hey.